you're a lucky fella, Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith. To be able to live as you do. And to have that swell Miss Liberty gal carrying the torch for you. <laughs> Shut up, Steve. I have a term paper due. Oh, yeah, right. Community college. Big girl, big girl. Hey, think that diploma will help you land a better section when you're waitressing at the Olive Garden? Zing! Think you'll hit puberty before you turn 14? Well, I hope so. Steve, you've only got one sister. Be nice. And Haley, Steve's big boy hair isn't going to come in any faster with you taunting him. Oh, Francine, Liebchen. I love the way you rule mit einem iron fist. You know, perhaps when you are finished there, you would stick your naughty pinky finger into my ball and let me feel you. Klaus, I don't think that's appropriate. You're right, when the kids are gone. No, Roger, you cannot borrow the car. You know, you'd think you'd be a little more grateful to the guy who saved your life at Area 51. Look, if my superiors found out you were living here, we'd all have our memories erased. Did you see Memento? It's not as good the second time. The point is, you're not allowed to leave the house. Look, for God's sake, Stan, I just want to pick up a pack of smokes. <sighs> Have you managed to contact your home planet yet? Oh, you know, I was going to do it yesterday, but I got distracted. Yeah, see, VH1 was doing this I Love the 80s marathon. Do you know Lou Ferrigno was deaf? I don't know, somehow it's hard to take him as seriously. Oh, hey, Francine, did you get those pecan sandies I asked for? Oh, Roger, I'm sorry. I was at the market yesterday and I forgot. <sighs> Pretty sure I asked for pecan sandies. I'll pick some up this afternoon. Francine, you'll be very careful out there today. We're at Terror Alert Orange, which means something might go down somewhere in some way at some point in time. So look sharp! You know, Dad, it's great that you and your CIA buddies have created a fun little system to keep the masses paralyzed in fear. You like shaving your armpits, Haley? Huh? Because if the terrorists take over this country, that's the first thing to go. It's just toast, Dad. This time it was toast, Haley. This time. It's okay. This one'll be mine. Hey, Steve, how's it going with that gal on the lacrosse team I picked out for you? Actually, Dad, I've decided to go for the brass ring. Today I'm asking out Lisa Silver, head cheerleader and future Mrs. Steve Smith. Yeah, yeah, I like the sound of that. Steve Smith. That's my boy. You hear that, Francine? Hey, Francine, tell Steve how many girls I dated in high school. I didn't meet you till college. No, but I've told you. Steve, my friend, if you want to win over this woman, do not wear the older end. Your stench is your personal signature. Mark her visit. Don't worry, she won't turn you down. You're a smith, and a smith always gets his girl. <laughs> <laughs> Resist him, Freitzin. Resist him! You and I are meant to... <gasps> Happy hour! Yum! Scrumptious! Steve, isn't Lisa Silver, like, way out of your league? Well, now, Haley, don't bury him before he's dead. I think you got a shot, Steve, as long as you don't wear that Shazam shirt. Oh, don't everyone help at once? My goodness, Roger, when was the last time you weighed yourself? Oh, oh, ow, ow, Francine. You know, we can't all look like those anorexic aliens in the James Cameron movies. I'm sorry, Roger, but I'm putting you on a diet. Starting today, no more junk food. What? No, no, not my Frankenberries. Oh, Francine, be reasonable, please. Ah! Oh, God, I've got a bear claw up my ass. Hey, you're a lucky fellow, Mr. Smith. Mr. Oh, by the way, honey, President Bush complimented me on that tie you got me. Oh, honey, I told you he liked you. Yeah, I was just being paranoid. Ow! Dad, get off me! I have to study for my term paper! You know the procedure, Haley. How come you never search Steve? Now, honey, I love you both, but Steve is not a left-wing liberal who I tried to raise properly, but... What's this? It's a pack of gum. All right, it's gum. Hey, champ, when's your big date? Um, uh, sh she was out sick today? Oh. Well, well, that's all right. You'll get her tomorrow. Hey, hey, listen, Mom, Dad, uh, I was thinking, c c can I have a dog? Absolutely not. It's enough that we've got an alien and a goldfish with the brain of a German guy. Ah, uh, Francine, I can see your schmutzplätchen. 
Sorry, Steve, no dog. Ooh. I'm more than happy to get you an etch sketch Mom, do something. You know, Stan, a dog's not such an awful idea. It might teach Steve the responsibility he'll need for when he one day joins the Army. Are you seriously contemplating a military career? Thinking about it. Hey, 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 did somebody order a brand new dog? Aw, oh, sweet. Dad, you're the best. What the hell is that? It's a dog. Oh, my God. He can barely stand up. Well, of course. He's 19. Stan, honey, didn't the Pound have any younger dogs? Francine, this dog has character. All right, he was around for the Reagan administration. He knows how things are supposed to be. Oh, damn it. He's going to pee. Oh, no, no. Nope, just dust. You're alone.